Great. So thank you so much for joining this interview. My name is Evelyn. I work as a marketing manager for WeConnect, um, specifically for the event Pharma MES. And with me here, I have two speakers who work at Biogen. I will let them introduce themselves and they will tell us their position, what they do, and what is their top in their job. So let's start with Amy and then we'll go to Alex. Um, my, my name is Amy Valentine. I'm the Associate Director of Architecture, Systems and Compliance, uh, working for Biogen located in Solothurn, Switzerland. Um, here we built a, a next generation manufacturing facility, um, started making drug product at the end of 2020. Um, yeah, my, my main function during the day is just supporting uh, manufacturing and our operations and making sure that we can get product out the door in a compliant manner. And um, it, it's something that I very much enjoy working with our, our team here um, to, to achieve. Thank you. Now on to Alex. Hi, uh, Alex Lee. I'm the head of plant operation system for our next generation manufacturing plant in Solothurn, Switzerland. Um, Amy is on my part of my team. Um, and um, as Amy mentioned, the, the plant was uh, built over the uh, last several years and we started manufacturing in 2020. And, it's a highly automated, highly integrated uh, plant um, with a lot of digital technology. So um, excited to, 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 to leverage technology to deliver business value to, the, to Baogen um, and the business. So that's what um, excites me about my job. That's great. Um, we'll move on to your topic and what you will present at Pharma MES. And you will present on the topic for digital maturity of MES integration within global and local plants and systems at the event. Tell us more about your topic and what are the key touch points that we should look forward to in your presentation. Um, so, I, yeah, during our presentation, it's really going to be a case study of our facility here, uh, running through some of the, you know, the things that we feel we did well, some of the challenges that we experienced, hopefully a few uh, kind of concrete items that someone looking to do a similar integration in the future could, could take home with them. Um, but really focused on the digital aspects and, and obviously also focused on, on MES and, uh, you know, how people in our space can contribute to the success of a plant. Um, anything to elaborate on that, Alex? Oh, I, I think well, for me, you know, we, we will also cover the, the site history that we briefly touched on and the technology and the integration that we've implemented here uh, and, and and the value that we're getting from that. Um, and you mentioned also lessons learned, but also there are good lessons learned too that we, we will share uh, as well. And also the future of what we can do with the plant. Yeah. So you know, creating our digital roadmap to the future. Okay, that's great. Um, to get deeper into it with a little bit of more specifics, we would like to know what are your most important drivers of your current projects, the functionality, the time to market, the process optimization, what is the security, the user and the customer experience, and mostly what, how much did it cost you? Or is there something completely different from what I have asked um, within those drivers? Is there any specific drivers that really gave your project the way forward so that it could be successful? Yeah, of course, the biggest thing, you know, it's it's a uh, digital is, uh, you know, uh, something that Baogen is uh, really focusing on. And, you know, it, this is, this plant was built with that uh, in mind. Um, obviously, the business outcome is uh, really time to market, right? Being able to um, leverage the technology so that we could get uh, the product to the market quicker. And that's... That's really the end goal is to, to automate, to integrate, uh, remove the low value added activities that uh, typical uh, typical plants in the industry, um, um, you know, uh, tend to uh, struggle with. Uh, so that the operators, the um, engineers can look focus more on high value, higher value added activities. So, um, and that adds to uh, 
lowering costs uh, in the long run as well. So, but those are the two key things I would say. Um, obviously, everything else also matters too, but yeah. you know, those are the two key. Okay. Amy, anything to add on to that? Not, not really. I, I mean, uh, yeah, all of these drivers play into one another. As Alex said, though, being, um, uh, you know, being to market in time for the patients, this is obviously what we're all trying to, to achieve at the end of the day uh, with highly compliant and um, also agile processes behind it. So, um, uh, but not, nothing further to add. Okay, not to worry. We'll move on to something more generic, and that is what topics and trends do you see in the next year, and what other developments are you, what other developments are you expecting in pharma MES? I guess in the next year, uh, we'll go by quickly. Um, so really, I, I see that our journey is going to be uh, bringing the, the people and the processes that we have um, up to match some of the capabilities of our digital systems. So this is probably going to be a, a big focus for our site in the next year. I think also maybe a little bit more uh, long-term, uh, more beyond one year, uh, I definitely think getting data in the right place where we can use it to make you know real-time processing decisions and adaptations. I think this is a big, trend. I don't know that we will be able to, you know, get to what I would consider like a next step in that next year, but everything that we're doing is building on that idea. Um, and I think that's really um, one of the big concepts that we need to be focusing on, at least in the next year, to to get to where we want to as a, as a business. Okay. Alex? Well, I think Amy summarizes it well. I think um, she touched on data, right? And that's a big component of digital is data to have the data ready, accessible. And and then um, bringing the people process around so people actually understand how to use the systems to leverage the data that are in the system. So we will be focusing a lot on that. At least at this site, I do know that on a broader term with, with uh, longer term with technology, right? There, there are a lot of focus on uh, cloud, uh, internet of things and uh, AI, machine learning, but I think we have to take baby steps to get there, right? Um, yeah. let's, 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 let's leverage what we have first before we start laying on top all these other nice and um, cool futuristic te technology that, you know. Um, so let's, let's mature people, processes, uh, then we can look to leverage more in the future so it's it's a it's a long journey it's some, something that you <laughs> can't just uh, snap your finger and happens tomorrow right so that's great thank you so much uh, we have come to the end of our interview it was very short um thank you for answering the questions i look forward to meeting you at Pharma mes and i wish you all the best in the summer um, see you in the autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Evelyn. And very nice good. to meet you. So see yeah. you soon. Autumn will be here. Thank you. Very soon. Bye. Bye.